Hello aspirants, welcome to Trident Mentors. As APSC is approaching near, so it's high time we start with our preparations. So we are here to help you with your preparations from the scratch. In order to understand the pattern of the exam, it is important to first do a critical analysis of the syllabus and then follow your routine study and strategize accordingly along with solving the previous year question papers. So now let's get into the syllabus. The syllabus comprises of the Indian polity, political system in India, Indian economy, planning process in India, history of India and Assam, geography of India, Assam and world, role of science and technology in India, culture and literature of Assam, India and world. Indian National Movement with special reference to Assam, current events of national and international importance, and general mental ability. Let us now categorize the syllabus topic-wise. Before starting the syllabus of Indian polity, it is important to divide the entire syllabus into four parts, the union, state, local bodies, and the constitutional bodies. From the general part, we need to study the historical background, the Regulating Act, Pitts India Act, Charter Act, etc. Then the constitutional development. From the constitutional development, we need to study the Cabinet Mission, Constituent Assembly, Objectives, Resolution, etc. Then the salient features of the Constitution, various sources of the Constitution of India. Preamble, Union and its Territory, Citizenship fundamental rights with its exceptions and restrictions, directive principles of state policy, fundamental duties, amendment procedure of the constitution and the doctrine of basic structure. Now comes the union part. From the union part, we need to study the parliamentary system, its features, merits and demerits. Then the federal system, why India is a quasi-federation. Then we need to study the relationship between the center and the state. Now what type of relations? Legislative, administrative and financial. Then we need to study emergency. National emergency, precedence rule, financial emergency. We need to study this with complete focus. Then comes the president, vice president, prime minister. We need to study the powers and functions of all these bodies. Then the Central Council of Ministers, Constitutional Provisions, Cabinet. Then the Parliament, Composition, Presiding Officers, Sessions, Lawmaking Processes, Budget, Parliamentary Committees should be studied with complete focus. Then comes the Supreme Court. What to study? In Supreme Court, we need to study the organization. What is the organization of the Supreme Court? Then independence and jurisdiction. Now comes the state. What to study from the state? We need to study the governor. What are the functions, power, responsibility of the governor? We need to study the chief minister, state council of ministers, power, functions and responsibilities. We need to study the state legislature and the high court, the organization, independence and jurisdiction of the high court. Now comes the local bodies. What to study from the local bodies? We need to study the rural local bodies and the urban local bodies. The evolution and the amendment acts involved with both the bodies. Last but not the least, the constitutional bodies. What to study from here? We need to study the various commissions. The election commission, union public service commission, finance commission, state public service commission. We need to study all this thoroughly. Now comes the Lokpal and the Lokayukta. Now what are these? Both are administrative ombudsmen. One at the center and the other at the state levels. Lokpal is at the center and Lokayukta is meant for states. What to study from the political system in India? We need to study the multi-party system, free and fair election, anti-defection law, independent bodies, independent judiciary, Responsible legislature, the collective responsibility of the legislature. Panchayati Raj institutions with special reference to Assam, Niti Ayok and its mandate. Non-constitutional and statutory bodies like that of the National Human Rights Commission, Central Vigilance Commission, 
then we need to study tribunals, special courts, fast track courts, pressure groups. We need to study the special provisions for the minority groups, SCs, STs and other backward classes. Having covered the syllabus of Indian polity, we are now good to go with another subject. Now let's start with Indian economy. To begin with, I would like to say that the economy of India is a developing mixed economy, right? And it is the fifth largest economy by nominal GDP and the third largest by purchasing power parity. Now what to study from Indian economy will be pointing out the key points. We need to study the introduction and types of economics, the important terms related to the goods and services of the nation, the history related to economic writings, Fiscal policy, monetary policy, who are responsible for this? RBI, right? So in order to understand the policies better, you can visit the RBI website. Then money and demonetization, national income, price level, inflation, deflation, exchange rate, convertibility of rupee. You need to study the finance commission, liberalization, privatization and globalization, Niti Aayog. Assam economy, centrally sponsored schemes and GST. Budget of both India and Assam should be studied thoroughly. Economic survey of both India and Assam is another important topic. In order to master yourself in Indian economy, the most important tool is RBI website. Do make a habit of visiting the RBI website and you will get to know many new things. So we are done with the Indian economy. And now we'll be starting the planning process in India. When was the planning commission established? It was established in 1950. So we need to study the history of planning commission, the various five-year plans from 1951 to 2017 and the key features of these plans. And finally, the Niti Aayog should be studied with complete focus. Now let's begin with the major part of the syllabus that is history of India and Assam. In order to master yourself in the history of India and Assam, it is very important to keep in mind that you should study in a sequence because studying in a sequence will give you a clear picture of the occurrence, right? And it will help you to remember the things in a proper manner. Now, the syllabus of history of India is divided into three parts that is ancient, medieval and modern. From the ancient history, you need to study the Indus Valley Civilization, which is also known as the Harappa Civilization or the Bronze Age. What to study from the Indus Valley Civilization? You need to study Charles Mason, John Marshall, Alexander Cunningham, excavators and excavations, urban planning and other features. You will have to study the phases of civilization, early, mature and later. Then comes the Vedic and later Vedic period. You need to study the Iron Age, the four Vedas and Vedic gods, ancient rivers with Vedic names, Vedic literature and its features. Then comes the Mahajanapadas and prominence of Magadha, Buddhism, Jainism, Maurya, Sangam Age, Indo-Greeks, Shakas, then Guptas, Harshavardhana, Eastern, Southern, Northern Kingdom should be studied with complete focus. Then comes the medieval part. From the medieval India, you need to study the invasion of Muhammad Kazim, Muhammad Ghazni and Muhammad Ghori. You need to study the Bhakti movement, Delhi Sultanate, Mughal Empire. Now the modern India. From the modern India, you need to study the later Mughals. Independence of Bengal, Awadh, Mysore and Hyderabad coming of the Europeans. Then the first war of independence, 1857 revolts, right? Then you need to study the formation of the Indian National Congress, 1885. Then India's struggle for independence. Now comes the history of Assam. Again, the history of Assam is divided into three parts, ancient, medieval and modern. From the ancient part, you need to study the Verman dynasty and the Kumar Bhaskar Verman. Then Salasthamba dynasty, Pala dynasty. From the medieval Assam, you need to study the Mohammedan invasions, the Chutias, Kochs, Kacharis and Jaintias, the Ahoms. 
1828 AD to 1838 AD. Now comes the modern Assam. From the modern Assam, you need to study the revolt of 1828 AD and Piolifukan. Maniram Devan in 1857 revolts, Assam and Indian National Congress, role of Assam in India's freedom movement. Having covered history, now we are good to go with geography. From geography, we need to study the geography of Assam, India and world. To begin with the geography of Assam, it is important to know the physiographic division of Assam. Now what are these? Hills, plateaus and plains, Brahmaputra and its tributaries, water bodies of Assam. Then the biodiversity of Assam. You need to study the forest cover, flora and fauna, national parks and wildlife centuries. Then the agriculture. What to study from the agriculture? You need to study the crops in Assam, both seasonal and plantation. Then rice, paddy, pulses, millets, fruits with the key statistics. Now comes the industry. What to study from the industries or which industries to focus? We need to focus the petroleum industry, tea, rubber and jute cultivation in Assam, pisciculture and sericulture, bell metal industry, paper and timber industry, thermal, hydro, fertilizer and polymer projects. Now comes the geography of India. From the geography of India, we need to study the location of India in world map, physiographic division of India, the passes of Himalayas and hills of India. Himalayan and Peninsular River System, Lakes, Waterfalls, Biodiversity and Dams of India, Climate and Soil of India, Agriculture and Industry, Kharif, Rabi and Zaid Crops, Production of Crops and Leading Producing States, then Mineral Resources of India with Leading Producers, Various Industries of India, all this will come under Agriculture and Industry. Then you need to study energy, thermal, nuclear, hydro, wind and solar energy, petroleum and natural gas energy, right? You need to study all this. Then transport, the different modes of transport, railways, roadways and waterways. Then the world geography. From the world geography, you need to study the solar system, space terminologies, continents and oceans, nation, capitals and currencies, world physiography, important tribes and races, you need to study the UNESCO heritage sites of both India, world and Assam. Now comes the syllabus of role of science and technology in India. From the science and technology part, you need to study the Indian space, missile and nuclear technology, climate change and biodiversity. Then you need to study the importance of information technology, latest Nobel Prizes. You can follow magazines like Down to Earth, which will help you to master yourself in science and technology in India. It will also give you a vivid idea of the things happening around you, the technological changes which are coming up every now and then. From the culture and literature part, you need to study the monuments, inscriptions, coins from ancient kingdom, literature, eulogies, by poets and writers, advent of printing press in India and Assam, foreign travellers' accounts on India and Assam. Then comes the culture and literature of Assam, India and world. Then the chronicles and manuscripts from ancient and medieval kingdom, various literature eras of Assam, art, culture and literature of world, prominent monuments of the world, famous books. You need to cover all this, right? Then the Indian National Movement in reference to Assam. From this part, you need to study the revolt of 1828 AD, Sepoy Mutiny, First War of Independence, 1857, Peasant Movements, Assam Association and the Indian National Congress, Role of Women from Assam in Indian Freedom Movement. You need to cover all this with complete focus. These are very important. Then comes the current events of national and international importance, including the regional current events. For this part, we'll be helping you with our daily current affairs, uh, with special reference to Assam. We'll keep you updated. You need to study the last one year important events, regional, national and international. The current events on sports, awards, books and authors. You need to study the important appointments, 
important days, the important summits, places of occurrence and their themes. Make a habit of questioning yourself. Who, when and where? Like, who is the head of FIFA? Where is the headquarter of FIFA? Where is FIFA World Cup being held? When was FIFA established? Make a habit of questioning yourself and you will be able to remember the things precisely. The topics cover ratio, percentage, time, speed and distance, time and work, calendar problems, number system, compound interest and simple interest, inequalities, coding, decoding, age related problems, blood relation, then divisibility rules, mensuration, direction sense, rank and order. As mentioned earlier, we will be soon coming up with a daily newspaper analysis with special reference to Assam. We will be focusing on the Assam Tribune and the Hindu. We will be coming up with our daily current affairs. We will be focusing on PIB, All India Radio, the Lok Sabha TV, the Rajya Sabha TV and we will also be discussing the previous year question papers along with the mock series. Thank you. Kindly like, subscribe and share. Feedbacks are welcome.